Okay, a bunch of normal types. So my lead is pretty obvious. Um, I lead with this. <laughs> so, if you know anything about um, competitive play ever, Tauros and Snorlax are super bad to fight, because they are really good. Like, what do I do here? Like, I suppose I could grab Jinx in case, like, I can't match up well against Togekiss or Swallow, but, like, is that really that big of a concern? Sure, I guess. Alright. I mean, Scizor probably would have been better just, like, resist stabs, but alright, whatever. If it's a throw, then guess what, buddy? It's a throw. That's the mindset I'm living off of now. You better believe it, man. <sighs> yeah, guys, in case you were wondering, whenever I record these, it's always super early in the morning. <laughs> And that's always fun. I don't think Perugly's got anything dumb. It, it probably has something. If I'm thinking correctly... Okay, good. I really thought it was gonna outspeed and brick break Lucario there. Oops. Well, I played that correctly. Lucky me. Never be too sure on what these guys are carrying. That's annoying. Shouldn't kill, though. Not even close. Alright. Alright, Swellow, you gotta go bye-bye. Not that. This one. Alright. Good stuff, man. Being able to just pause your momentum just to do anything is so convenient. It's like, Swellow is likely to die to this because, like, it it's really frail. Oh, it's definitely dead. <laughs> oh, that thing definitely gone. Paralyzed? Frick. Well, I hope for the best. I couldn't paralyze the Clefable. That's fine. I lied. I got it. You know what? That's even better. Being proven wrong. Okay, now that's a problem. Protect the Snorlax should definitely see a kill on Manetric if it has, like, anything good. And I need to just focus on gunning it down. Because, yeah, Snorlax is terrifying. Took a lot of damage. It's good. Earthquake. Yeah, Lucario's probably dead. That, yeah, he's definitely dead. Well, I'm saying probably. Well, now I'm in a rough spot. Perfect point is just completely off the table. And Snorlax just got some health back. I don't have to worry about, like, uh, what's it called? Like, Clefable's really not a problem right now. I gotta go for Swift. No, I can just go for Discharge, wait. Discharge is my easy go-to right here, but... My problem is, right, if I click this, Manetri just dies. I mean, it doesn't matter, like, what does Snorlax have? Plus, Manetric's outspeeding him, anyways. That's fine, it's fine. I'm overreacting. I just need to look at Snorlax's stat spread real quick. It's honestly, I, I always forget this, man. Okay, he's gone. Good. Snorlax, what do you have, buddy? Okay, so it's just casually got 110 special defense. Alright. You know, I might have to take this, just saying. Might have to go for him. Oh, that just does nothing, man. Get get out of here. Why? Alright. Well, that's what you call concerning. Well, Jinx, it's all on you. Not really. Honestly, I think I could afford to trade off Jinx here. Like, it doesn't do anything. Which says a lot for it being an Ice type. Like, it's a Psychic type without its stab, which is huge. Like, yes, you got Ice Beam. Congrats. Now what? And, like, that's a thing that's kind of concerning. At the end of the day.
But yeah, guys, in case y'all were wondering about power creep, there has been a bunch of it, as seen by all the earthquakes, fam. Just in case you were actually curious. Alright. Double edge, earthquake, crunch. I might take this. They're all so bad. This Snorlax is good. Alright. Yeah, I don't think Jinx was really bringing anything to the table at that moment in time. Now, if you guys know anything about competitive, or even Nuzlocking for that matter, you would know that Swampert is completely busted. Now, Swampert's honestly my biggest concern, right? I mean, so is Gastrodon, honestly. I can't write that thing off just yet. So I think this is what I bring for my intro, uh, my in opening. Wow. So hear me out, right? Earthquake with Snorlax or Double Edge, whatever, right? Get some hefty damage out. He's got Crunch. It can take on Frostlass in a 1v1, right? If any of the ground types are led, I can protect with Lucario turn one. And then, you know, if they click Earthquake, they're just hurting their partner. So Lucario's in a good spot. Then I can just switch to Gliscor next turn. Then he doesn't have to worry about Earthquake damage. And that's a free switch. The problem is, what do I do after? Because I could easily bring Lantern to win me against Kabutops, but like, that's it? I mean, I guess Marowak too. But nobody else really brings anything to the table for this. Right, Lantern, what are your stats? 124 and 84. Um, not that. I don't know why that was a question. Alright, um... I'm gonna try to get rid of Lantern here. This might be where I lose because, um, this isn't quite the greatest plan. However, it does give me a few little openings. Especially considering Snorlax's physical bulk isn't the greatest. But hey, that's okay. Who cares? Let's just all have fun. Okay. Both corners are full of energy, so we're sure to see a great That's a little concerning. I could go for Captivate here, but like, that doesn't really seem like a great play. Just in general. The stage is set and the curtain is up. Like, yeah, I'm gonna hit them both because gender and whatnot, but like, really? Oh, come on, why? Don't. Alright, cool. Earthquake me, buddy. Good. Good. That's what you like to see, boys. Because now Kabutops definitely dies here. Which is a good opening. Alright. Not the greatest one, but definitely good. Oh, Swampert took nothing from that, man. Yikes. Listen, man. I think if you overreact to not killing something, then you're just like... Well, you overreact, and that's actually pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. If there's anything I've noticed my, myself in terms of, like, content creation, it's just like, man, I don't overreact ever. What does Frostlass do here? Oh. I think I just, like, have to sack Lucario. Like, yeah, I can keep it alive, but, like, then what? Fine, I guess we'll go with this then what strat. All I'm doing is potentially opening up Gliscor to an ice move, which is the last thing I need to be doing. Why are you like this? Well, Swampert's about to kill Snorlax. Great. That's really annoying. Oh, and if you can see by this attack, uh, this attack ordering, um, Gliscor is definitely slower than Frostlass here. So, a little concerning. All right. Put Lucario back in, because I just have to answer this Frostlass right now. Because if not, Gliscor's kind of just screwed. Yeah, I definitely kind of lose this. I think I definitely lose this fight. Okay, let's get rid of Frostlass and put in Lantern so um, Gliscor doesn't, like, get ice moves. If Frostlass has any ice moves, that is. It might not even have any. Icy Wind. Yeah, that's really bad. The last thing I need is Lucario to be slower right now, and that's uh, guaranteed. So that's um probably going to be an L. Because, yeah, this is why you need Grass-types, boys. To deal with Swampert. 
I don't think the crit mattered either. All right. See, so guys, aren't you loving the heavily powered crit rank seven? It seemed like everything was going good at first, and then it's not. And they're both dead. Well, boys, <laughs> I got some bad news. I got some really bad news right here. Um. Yeah, that happened. Okay. Well, I definitely just lost. But you know what? Maybe the shift tree can mess. Oh, I'm just not killing him. Great. Can you crit anyways? Or flinch? Wow, two shot doesn't even kill. Yeah, I think this is definitely game. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Rip. Oh, and he's waterfall. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it wasn't even a question then. How are you alive? How? What are you doing? Buddy, you could at least play nicely and just faint for me. Don't want to waste my time, Annie. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, hey, look, he got the kill. If only he crit the first turn, then I could have spammed Ice Fang until uh, I cheated my way in by either flinching or freezing. If only. <laughs> Dude, like, what do you do against Swampert without a Grass type move? Like, actually. Because, like, there's no answer. Like, yeah, I could have double edged with Snorlax or, like, or Spirit Lucario, but, like, that's not even a guaranteed two hit KO. We shouldn't be. The challenger has lost. Sure feels great to win battles, buddy. I didn't win. What the fuck are you on about? When, when did I get up to two? What? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, yeah, the last fight, right? Whatever. Maybe. How do I handle this team, dude? I think just in general, Lantern was just not the call at all. Like this was this is given that he didn't choose Gastron or Marowak. Which again, both of those get grabbed. Well, um, uh, um, yeah. So I think I'll leave with these this time, and um Ooh. What, do you, what can you do? I mean it's got protect. I I guess I'll take Scizor. <laughs> okay. Gotta have a strategy, I guess. <laughs> Pain. And copious amounts of it. Alright, buddy. Don't do anything stupid this time, please. <laughs> Shift tree Kabutops. Alright. So sure I definitely like my odds way more. What does Kabutops do again? Um, I just go for Ice Fang or Sphere here, yeah. So or Sphere should take care of this Kabutops. Why? That's annoying. Damage I don't really want right now, but okay. Yo, flinch, please. Pain. Well, it could still flinch, but no freeze, though. Kind of annoying. Little concerning, not gonna lie, coach. Just a wee bit. Okay, double team or sphere guarantee hits that thing, so I'm fine. Boost your evasion all you want, buddy. The choreo can 100% kill you. That's annoying, though. Alright. I'm going for Earthquake Protect here. I need to dent that Gastrodon real quick. Because, yeah, water ground types, huh? Huh. That's certainly a thing that exists. Okay, not bad. I actually took out the shift tree, nice. That wasn't my goal, but that does save me from having the aura spirit. Mud bomb doesn't hit, good. Alright. Marowak. I could use that Marowak to my advantage if I have Lucario out right now. 
Because I could just straight up, like... That's not that safe of a switch, is it? Yeah. Okay, so no Swamper, which is really good. I could try trading for the Shift Tree, like, if it has a good grass move. Okay, game. Didn't crit Scizor, love to see it. Okay, Marowak, I need you to Earthquake your partner. Do it. Well, that's annoying. Good thing I didn't put in Snorlax, though. Good thing I didn't put him in. Oh, it missed. Nice. Gastrodon still can pull off a move. I'm gonna Earthquake, I guess. I got Protect, right? Damn straight. Alright. So I'm safe for Marowak this turn, which is good. You know there's no Marowak can actually carry Ice Beam in this? One of my favorite attacks, because its special attack doesn't exist. Definitely a great option to use on Glyscore right now. Because tight matchups. <laughs> it down. Yeah, it'll be fine. Am I really about to get a perfect point on this? No, nah, that, that doesn't happen, does it? Okay. Hold on. If Glyscore misses, I won't. Well, I probably won't. Oh, there it is, guys. I got my perfect point back. Cool. <laughs> Good, good stuff. All because there was no Swamper. Love to see it, boys. Love it, man. Yo, like, comment, subscribe if you thought that that comeback, the comeback story was real. I just completely bullied that guy. But you know, it's his fault. He deserved it. He definitely had it coming, all right? Okay, Shift Street, I need to check what you're packing, buddy. Razor Leaf. Yeah, you know. No.